Gamer here, and you guys killed it! I mean, seriously killed it on the support on the, uh, why Aloy is the worst DPS in the game. So, now it is official! I will make more Let's Say videos! And we're gonna be kicking this off with another discussion type video on Let's Say. So, without any further ado, I am gonna be doing the intro for this. So, welcome to Let's Say, where instead of playing the game, I actually talk about it. And in this episode of Let's Say, you probably already saw which character I am on, we're gonna be talking about Bennett. So the reason why I want to talk about Bennett is because he is part of the event. So yeah, you can get yourself a free Bennett um, in two days as the time I am recording this, but by the time uh, this video is uploaded, um, Bennett will be officially out and you can get him for free. As you can see here, I have to wait like two days for the event to uh, basically conclude itself. But yeah, um, you can get yourself a free Bennett um, right now uh, as the time this video is up. So yeah, uh, this is the only reason why I want to talk about um, this topic in particular. And it has been a really um, interesting topic for a long time. People are saying that, oh, you should C6 Bennett, or you should keep him at C5 and keep it at that. Well, now it is time for me to put the hat into the ring and talk about C5 Bennett or C6 Bennett. So, without any further ado, let's just get this started. So, in order to understand Bennett more, we have to talk about his kit. Yeah, the whole reason why uh, you would want to keep him at C5 or you want to C6 him. So, uh, well, might as well discuss about his kit. But mainly, it's his Q because his other two passives don't really matter. You want to know why? This just does normal attack damage. This is literally just a elemental skill that does pyro damage. Yeah, if you're ever using a DPS Bennett, this is pretty good, I guess. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, if you are using DPS Bennett, you could just use the hold E instead of the press E. You use the press E if you want pyro particles so that you can charge his burst faster. So yeah, the, that's the only reason why you would use his elemental skill. It's for either DPS purposes or you can get your particles back to fuel your Q. And speaking of his Q, this is his main bread and butter. It is extremely 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 broken i will uh, emphasize how broken it is because bennett is literally one of the best supports in the entire game because of his elemental burst and what does it do well this is what it does so if you are under 70 percent health you will regenerate health yeah that's basically it until you reach up to 70 percent hp yeah, it's pretty cool. And the healing is um, maxed out on Bennett's HP. So if you have really high Bennett HP, you won't die. Yeah, you will seriously won't die. Because Bennett's, uh, Bennett's healing is extremely broken. Yeah. And also, um, if your character's HP is higher than 70%, you will get the attack boost on Bennett's uh, base attack. So yeah, so if you give him really high base attack, say that you gave him a five-star weapon as the Skyward Blade, which has a base attack of 600, then you will basically get a lot of mileage on your Q. So yeah, if you give him a high base attack uh, weapon, then you will get a high attack boost, which affects everyone. It is extremely good. It is super, super, super good. And also, the imbues characters with Pyro, um, it happens when you stand on his Q. It also kind of protects you as well, but at the same time, you could just get reaction damaged and it works against you. But uh, yeah, well, um, <laughs> I guess it's alright, uh, but... Um, Qs like this are pretty common where you use a Q or an elemental skill and you get infused with that uh, element yourself. So yeah, um, I guess that's the only quote-unquote downside on his Q. But uh, basically that is pretty much the only downside because the rest of his Q is extremely broken. So yeah, 
Um, that's basically it. Um, his passives are really noteworthy. Uh, this just decreases the cooldown of his E, meaning that you can um, spam it more often so that you could uh, fuel his elemental burst. And then this is uh, Fear Not, which uh, reduces the cooldown by 50%. And um, he won't be launched by his charge level 2. So this is basically just um, him as a DPS. So yeah, um, the cooldown on his E gets reduced by 50%, which is pretty cool. It stacks with this, meaning that you get a 70% uh, cooldown reduction on his elemental skill. And his elemental skill is already fast enough. As you can see there, five. Yeah, five on a normal um, E. But if you stack these, it basically becomes two, which is extremely broken. <laughs> so that you could spam his E twice, and you could probably get his elemental burst back really fast. Yeah, his energy cost is 60, which isn't really that bad. Which is extremely, um, well, potent for him. And um, he won't be launched by his level 2, meaning that his elemental skill is pretty good um, on his, uh, yeah, his level 2, where you just charge it and then it basically launches him backwards. But if you have this, it doesn't do that anymore, so that is pretty cool. Yeah, that is basically Bennett's uh, whole kit in general. Um, which is just his elemental burst. That's all you need to know. So now that you know what Bennett does and how he supports his allies, now I can actually talk about the constellations. So this is probably going to be the longest segment in this video, so strap yourselves in, uh, grab a, pop a bucket of popcorn, grab a soda, it is time to talk about Bennett's constellations. So now we are going to be talking about his constellations. I'm only going to be talking about the noteworthy ones because some of these are pretty okay. I mean, this is literally just uh, level up skills, these level 3s and 5s. This is just about his uh, elemental skill. Yeah, it's not really that um, impressive. So yeah, let's just talk about his actual, um, his actual constellations. So here we go. So his C1 is extremely good. This basically makes him the best support in the entire game. It's just because of this. This is way too broken. So all it does, it basically has no HP restriction. Remember when Bennett's Q is based off if they have 70% or higher HP? It isn't anymore. <laughs> thanks to this constellation. So now you can be at 1 HP and you still get the um, attack boost. And you'll also gain 20% additional um, damage or attack boost based off of Bennett's base attack. So you, on top of not having an HP restriction, you get an additional 20% of Bennett's base attack, which is broken as crap. It is so broken. It's super, super, super good. So not only you get an attack bonus based on his uh, base um, attack, which is extremely good. Look at that. 106% on a level 11. Not only that, you get an additional 20%. That is really high. That is really high, meaning that characters will nuke the ever-living crap out of things thanks to Bennett's burst. It is that good. His constellations just make him extremely, extremely good. Even at C0, he's still good, um, despite having that HP restriction. But since it doesn't do that anymore, now he becomes a monster and becomes the best support in the entire game. So yeah. Well, here is another really good constellation, where if Bennett's HP falls below 70%, his energy recharge gets uh, increased by 30%, meaning that you get his burst faster. Yeah, everything here that you see is extremely good because he just gets all his stuff faster. And let's not mention that one of his talents basically reduced the cooldown on his E when you use his Q. So you could spam his E and get your burst back. It's really that good. <laughs> yeah, his constellations are pretty, pretty good at C1, C2. Um, if you ever are just going to be um, using Bennett, C1, C2 is what you mainly want to go for. Other constellations don't really matter. And speaking of constellations don't really matter, 
Let's talk about the elephant in the room. C6. So, C6. It is weird. <laughs> and I will explain why. So, what does this constellation do? Well, if you are a sword, claymore, or polearm wielding character, and if you are inside Bennett's Q, you'll get a 15% pyro damage bonus, and your weapon will be infused by pyro. This is good if you use Bennett as a DPS, but he's meant to be used as a support. You see what I'm getting at here? All of his kit is based on supporting his allies, but this goes against that. Somewhat. <laughs> and I will be explaining that right now. So, here we go. Should you see Sixum or not? Let's talk about it. So now it is time to talk about the title of the video. Should you see Six Bennett or not? But we have to talk about C5 Bennett before we talk about C6 Bennett. So, here we go. So, what can C5 Bennett do? Or, more specifically, C2 Bennett? Well, I did mention before that his burst is really good. This makes him one of the best supports in the entire game. Because he heals, he gives attack to his party members, he also gives further attack to his party members thanks to his constellations. Yeah, he is just really good. And because he is such a great support, you can run him on basically whatever team you could possibly want. You think I'm joking? Well, here are a few characters that you could run Bennett on, and it's just ever-increasing um, as more versions come out. So, this is just 4.0, and there's probably going to be more teams with Bennett in it, so here we go. You can run him on Kazuha National. Pretty cool. Um, if you want to make Kazuha, I mean DPS, Bennett is there for you. You can run Ganyu Melt. He also works really well there too, because Ganyu needs melt reactions. You can run him on Ayaka Melt, which is not really that um, great as Ayaka Freeze, but Ayaka Melt comps are extremely good anyway because Ayaka is just way too good. <laughs> so yeah, Bennett also works well here, there too. Raiden National is one of the most commonly used teams in the entire game, so yeah, there's no explanation needed there. Kuching Overload is also pretty good too. Overload damage is nothing to scoff at. You can also run him on Nahida Burn, which is pretty cool too. Burning is not really as good as the other Dentro reactions, but you can also run Bergen as well, which is also a good reaction. You can run him with Kokomi Vaporize, which is pretty cool. So yeah, uh, you can just make Kokomi a main DPS with this and basically get a high attack stat, since she doesn't need to crit um, to make her damage good. You can also run him with 4-star characters. Um, which re need really, really big help from Bennett. So yeah, uh, four-star characters can basically do comparable damage to five-star characters because of Bennett, which is pretty cool too. You can also run him with supports like Venti or any other support where you can just infuse their animal um, thing with Pyro. So yeah, you can just do even more elemental reactions or you can decrease the Pyro res of characters. You can also run him with physical damage dealers like Iowa or Deha, which also benefit from Bennett really well because of his attack boost to party members. You can also run him with Mona, who is also pretty good too with her elemental burst, dealing a lot of damage. So yeah, you see what I mean by Bennett is universal? That's just a few handful teams. There's probably more out there, but Bennett with C5 can basically be run on any team you could possibly ever want. He is just universal, and uh, people don't sleep on him because he's just that good. So now it's time to talk about C6. So remember when I said that Sword, Claymore, and Polearm characters get a 15% Pyro damage bonus and get their weapons infused by Pyro? Yeah, this means that instead of having the whole roster to yourself, you only get a handful of characters to use. Yeah, because you want to take advantage of that 15% Pyro damage bonus, and also you don't want your other characters to be infused by Pyro. Yeah, you don't want... Characters like Kuching, who can actually be overwritten, yeah, her elemental skill can be overwritten by other uh, infusions. Uh, more on that on a later, let's say, uh, episode. But yeah, in short, Kuching can be uh, 
infused with pyro, meaning that she can't do her electro damage, which screws her over, which is really, really bad. So yeah, now you are stuck with pyro-only characters. So let's just talk about them. Remember when I said that, again, sword, claymore, and pole arm characters get the pyro damage bonus? This means that catalysts and bows don't get it. So characters like Klee can't get the 15% pyro damage bonus. Characters like Yoimiya can't get the 50% pyro damage bonus. And characters like Yanfei and Amber can't get the 15% pyro damage bonus. Yeah, it is really bad. So now it limits you down to just a few. And by a few, I mean only like, what, five characters can use it? So yeah, let's just list them right now. So first off, we have Hu Tao. But if you already know what Hu Tao's kit is, she doesn't need this because Hu Tao just does a lot of damage anyway and her weapons get uh, pyro infused anyway with her elemental skill. Meaning that she doesn't even need the uh, pyro damage um, infusion with uh, Bennett C6. And also she needs to be below 50% HP and Bennett on the other hand um, heals. Hutao. So you don't want her to be healed or else you will lose on the pyro damage. So Hu Tao is off the table. So now you are left with like probably like four characters. So here we go. First off is Deha, who is okay if you want to make her a just a pyro DPS, but she also does physical damage too. So yeah, you probably have to balance between the two. But she can work um with Bennett C6 if you really want to. Uh, D. Luke is probably the best character for Bennett C6 because all of his attacks are pyro damage. His Q basically gives him pyro infusion, and he needs to, as much pyro damage as possible to deal a lot of reaction damage. So yeah, D. Luke uh, benefits the most off of um, Bennett C6 just because of how his kit works. His elemental skill, his normal attacks, and his burst just deal a lot of pyro damage. So yeah. This is probably the only character that can benefit off of Bennett C6, so if you bane Diluc and use him a lot, then yeah, C6 is probably worth it. There's also other characters too um, that could probably benefit, like Zhongling, um, if you want to make her a main DPS, but her role is a sub DPS, so I guess she is out of the picture too. Shingon, you could probably make her a pyro DPS, but she also uses physical damage on her burst, so she's probably out of the window too. And that leaves us to Toma, who uh, doesn't benefit from Bennett whatsoever because he uses shields. Yeah, he is a off-field DPS, so his pyro infusions don't work with him either. But, surprisingly, probably the best character that can use C6 is Bennett himself. Yeah, you can just basically make him a pyro DPS if you ever make him a C6 uh, character. So yeah... The only characters that could probably benefit off of C6 Bennett is D. Luke or Bennett himself. Yeah, which is really, really awkward. So, yeah. Um, now you see what I mean by C6 uh, being a controversial topic. Yeah. Now it is time to actually go over to the conclusion of this video. And you probably already know what my conclusion is. So, what is the verdict on Bennett C6? Should you C6 him? The answer is no! The long answer, if you want to make him a pyro support and only support pyro characters and basically make a DPS Bennett for some reason, then yes, you can use him um, on C6. But if you want to use him on every single team in the entire game and make him one of the best supports in the entire game, then don't make him C6. And the only downside of not making him um, C5 is this annoying notification on the top right. You get this all the time. You can't get rid of it. So yeah, that is the only downside of having C5 Bennett. It's because of this. And I guess the uh, missed out pyro damage. But then again, why would you need it when you could just run him on any team you could ever want? So yeah, there is your conclusion on uh, C6 Bennett. Just don't do it, in my opinion. But if you have any other objections, then uh, yes. Uh, you could probably just run C6 Bennett um, if you think it is worth it on your terms. 
Um, in the end, it is your decision. If you want to make him C6, make him C6. If you want to listen to my advice and keep him as is, then keep him as is. But yeah, that is basically it for a C6 Bennett discussion. So, if you like the uh, video, make sure you like it. And also, uh, if this video gets a ton of support, I will make more Let's Say videos. You guys killed it with the Aloy um, Let's Say video. So, if you could uh, get this video a ton of support, then I will make more Let's Says in the future. Probably more higher quality Let's Says. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> also subscribe if you are new to the channel. If you like this content, um, leaving a subscription is really appreciated. It basically helps me... Uh, keep me motivated to make more videos in the future. And also, if you really um, want to know which videos come out next, make sure to turn on the notification bell to not miss out on a single upload that I do on this channel. You never know what I might upload, so yeah, uh, make sure you uh, turn on the notification bell to stay tuned. And also comment up below! Now it's time for discussion, um, and I gave you my opinions. What is your opinion on C6 Bennett? You think it's worth it? You think it's not? Uh, you think that C5 Bennett is better than C6 Bennett, or you think C6 Bennett is probably worth the uh, constellation? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching this Bennett C6 video, and I'll see you guys in the next Genshin video.